We have a neighborhood crime alert in a neighborhood near Lakewood. Surveillance cameras caught someone taking more than $20,000 worth of equipment from a tree cutting business there. This happened this morning at the Canary Tree Service at the corner of St. Augustine Road and Jernigan Road. And that is where we find news for Jack's reporter Eric Avignier, who joins us live to explain how this happened. Eric. Well, Vic, the owner of the uh, property tells me that the crook made entry into this uh, property by simply cutting a hole through a chain link fence similar to this one, but on the other side of the property. Once he was inside, uh, he was seen on surveillance video going on a stealing spree. Now, at one point in the video, he's also seen reaching for what appears to be a weapon when he realizes he's not the only person on this property. This masked burglar has no idea that when he broke into the Canary Tree Service lot and repositioned a security camera, he tripped a motion detector that sent an alert to the business owner's cell phone. I checked the video, saw that there was someone in our uh, container with a ski mask on, rifling through our stuff and carrying equipment out. At that point, the owner contacted one of his employees who was in an office on the property. The employee called police, then confronted the burglar, but the masked crook managed to run off without being captured. The owner says the burglar got away with more than $20,000 worth of equipment that is insured. Insurance doesn't pay the deductible, and the process is not expedited. So in the meantime, we can't go to work. We don't have the tools for our trade. We have our trucks, but we don't have our chainsaws. We can't cut trees without chainsaws. And there's literally dozens of people that work for us that are gonna be impacted directly by this in the, in the holiday season when they need it the most. The owner says if the crook needed money that bad, there was no need to break into a business. If they would have come to me and asked for a chance, we'd have gave them a job and said they came up here and stole our stuff. Now, the owner also tells me that other businesses in the area have also been targeted by a burglar whom they assume is the same person based on the M.O. Now, the owner of this business also says that he is putting out a $2,500 cash reward for information that leads to the arrest of this individual. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.